and welcome. As the cliche goes, Cuba is known for the three C's, vintage cars, cigars, and of course, former President Fidel Castro. Cuba has survived 40 years of US sanctions aimed at toppling the Fidel Castro government. It's also defied all predictions that it would not survive the collapse of its one-time supporter, the Soviet Union. Now the island nation is undergoing another critical period in its history. In 2008, the ailing Fidel Castro handed over the presidency to his younger brother and fellow revolutionary leader, Raul. Raul Castro did a blunt assessment of his country's condition and pushed for economic reform. We travel to Havana to see what life is like for ordinary Cubans 50 years after the revolution. A drive through the main streets of Cuba, and we're greeted by an unusual sight. The simple act of selling food or wares on the street is something we all take for granted. But here in Cuba, we're told until a few years ago, this would not have been allowed. But now with the economy slowly opening up, this small step is a big sign of change. As a country, Cuba seems stuck in a time warp since the 1959 revolution. For decades, the government banned the sale of real estate and kept a tight grip on new construction. Materials were scarce, red tape endless. Once grand homes have been allowed to become crumbling monuments to their bygone glory. Unlike in India, where even in the heyday of Nehruvian socialism, the government opted for a mixed economy, allowing private enterprise to flourish in the small-scale sector, in retail and the restaurant business. In Cuba, the state controlled everything. For Cubans, everything requires standing in line. As a foreigner, I was able to buy this ice cream without any hassle. But for Cubans, there are rules and regulations. You have to stand in line, and even ice cream is rationed. Since the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991 and the end of its aid to Cuba, this island nation has limped along economically, relying mostly on tourism to earn foreign exchange. And while the people are cheerful, the going is tough. Todo por la revolución, or everything for the revolution. For better or for worse, Fidel Castro is the greatest leader to emerge from Latin America in the 20th century. Universal education, almost guaranteed employment, and quality health care are the communist leader's great achievements. However, he did not manage to reduce Cuba's dependence on the export of tobacco, sugar, and nickel, nor did he manage to industrialize this island nation so that Cuba can compete on the world market with durable goods. Raul Castro, who took over from his ailing older brother in 2008, is playing the hand he's been dealt as best as he can, introducing more pragmatic economic policies. By November 2011, the wheels were turning. Cubans were allowed to own property and buy or sell real estate. The government also created a small window for private enterprise. For over 12 years, Eduardo Pimentel has been teaching community yoga in Havana. Two years ago, he registered his Vidya Yoga Studio as a private enterprise. He now pays 100 Cuban pesos a month and 10% of the profit to the government as a license fee. This is a, a new a surprising new change in Cuba economy. Cuba is changing, you see it. Yeah, yeah, it's changing. It's slow, but it's good, it's changing. Some changes are below the radar, others are hard to miss. In the past, homes which were assigned to citizens by the government were modest, nondescript and near identical to one another. Giant ants as art may not be to everyone's taste, but as examples of conspicuous consumption, they're hard to ignore. The government started to open areas that where people could have uh, like an independent job apart from the government and have their own income. And that's where the artists began to exhibit their work 
a much more commercial work than before. There are a lot of artists in Cuba, first because it is a very good business. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust. <laughs>